Welcome back to the channel. This is Monkey Business, and we appreciate you uh, tuning in and checking out our channel. Uh, you know, I'm Nick, aka Dad, and uh, usually my sidekick Monkey is here with me, and we're going over reviews on different things, especially for our Bronco. But uh, lately, we've been doing a lot of things in the garage, uh, organizing parts, and, and you know, pretty much anything you have in your garage, tools, um, just everything, just since we moved into the new house and came across some interesting things that we needed to uh, find a solution for. And one of them, maybe this is you as well, bicycles. Um, we love as a family to go out uh, and ride bikes, um, whether it's you know just going up to our local farmer's market um, with our trailer for Riley and then Addie and I and my wife um, ride up all together to the farmer's market or just riding around town. Um, we like to go out on trails as well. Our old house had a really nice trail next to it. So we all have our own bicycle. I also have a road bike. Um, used to do a lot of road biking, would love to get back into it. But when you have bicycles, there's usually no real good solution, at least that I found. You know, you put them in your garage and they take up floor space. Um, I've seen the kind where uh, they hang from the ceiling on some... Uh, pulley systems and that, which I thought were kind of cool. But then when you add uh, a ton of bikes, which we have uh, three mountain bikes and then my road bike, we have four bikes total. Um, that just, you know, you start taking up a lot of space kind of in your, in your field of view. Um, so we started looking around our new garage and trying to figure out a solution. And finally came up with one that I thought was going to be a great option. And since we like to do reviews, I uh, thought we'd review it. This one comes from Menards. It's a super simple design, uh, and I've already installed it, um, but now our, we are taking them down. Um, the biggest thing is this is the one, I think uh, this is Menards brand. Um, I think it's like that uh, Pro Form or something like that. Um, can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, they're rated for up to 50 pounds, and they basically just have two screws to mount to. Uh, they do recommend that you drill in, um, and I use a 964th bit um, to start pilot holes for the screws and go into a stud, which I did. Um, and they worked really well for about a week, and then you can kind of see that is supposed to be more curved. Um, trying to put my mountain bike on there, uh, Addie and I both have kind of the, the wider front mountain bike tires on ours. Um, it held, hold, held on to the rim pretty well, but after a while, it started to bend that out. Um, so you can kind of see that it's, it's bent this a little bit. Um, I tried to put it back into place, but it really wasn't holding real well. So we wanted to find a new solution um, that would get the bikes up out of the way. And I think the solution um, is another great option for a lot of people. It came off of Amazon. I started doing some research, looking at some reviews of other people. And we're going to show you how to install this one as well. But um, this one holds 50 pounds, like I said, has two screw holes. And basically, it's um, just some light duty steel. It's not real, real thick um, with this little rubber piece here at the end to protect the rim. Um, but again, uh, a fatter rim or tire on your bicycle, if it can't wrap all the way around, which is what I was finding, it starts to bend it back. And I didn't think my, my bike weighs that much. Um, we'll go over that here in a little bit and uh, we'll show you the option. But yeah, let's take a look at the bicycles first, show you what we're riding. Maybe it compares to what you have and then show you the, the um, piece that we found that should help us. And I think it will do a great job uh, to keep the bikes out of the way, but then also be really usable and able to get down pretty quickly for anybody in the family. So let's take a look at our bikes and then show you the solution we came up for organization. Well, here's our bikes. Um, here's the three mountain bikes that we have and our dog Bella and Grace is over there. Um, here's mine, it's a Trek. Uh, this is a, a medium to large frame. Um, if I remember right, this was like the Marlin 5, um, kind of search all over the place. And after COVID, or actually, yeah, just after COVID, it was hard to find a bike. And my road bike was great. It's still over there on the wall. Here's kind of how that mount works. It worked well with the skinnier tire for my road bike, but you put the fatter tire on it 
And that's when we had problems. So especially on my bike, um, you can kind of come around here and see, it's definitely quite a bit wider. I, I think I measured this and we were just over two inches, um, just around the tire. And let's see if I can find a, okay, it's a 210. Let's see here. Oh, nope, not, that's not, that's our inflate and that's the bar measurements. Oh, here we go. Excuse me, Bella. This is a 29 by 2.20 right here on the, uh, on the tire. Um, so mine's probably the widest one. I think Addy's was a 27.5 by 2.10. So she's got the next biggest one. And then my wife Amanda has a, I believe it says 26 by 1.95. So those are the three bikes we're talking about that we had a problem with those, uh, that bike hanger. So I kind of went to, like I said, Amazon and, and take a look around. And let me show what we found. So you can see where we had a problem, especially with my bike having such a, a wide tire to it. And, and these just not having the dimension to actually get around it. And as I looked at it, as I hung it, I'm like, well, it's holding, which is great. Um, they did give you a, a measurement from where it's holding to where the tire is against the wall at no more than eight inches, which I was well within that. But just this piece here was not wrapped around and just started to pull this piece straight. So went to Amazon, started looking around, and this is what we found. This is from Durza, D-I-R-Z-A. A little bit beefier, you've got this plate here, a little bit stronger steel it feels like. There are four mounting holes in this. Um, and this is what really got me. You've got this nice wide hook here. It is coated in a rubberized material, um, which for a mountain bike that has the bigger tires like mine does, uh, that should fit a lot better. I do like the construction. You do have like where the hook goes through and then is kind of welded back here. Again, I wouldn't think it has to be super, super strong welded. I mean, it's wrapped around. Um, I did like the piece that it has for the front tire to kind of lean against, uh, giving you some extra uh, protection for your wall. Also, had good instructions to them, and they send you this little thing of instructions. I use my 964 bit again here, um, which I'll show you what I did to install this. Um, but yeah, 964 bit is what you'd need. Uh, I use my electric drill um, with a Phillips head in it as well. And the other thing I would definitely use is a level. I use my little mini level. Uh, the other cool thing is, let me unwrap one of these here for you. Uh, I did like that this also came with a strip, adhesive strip that shows you where you need to drill it. So you can stick this to the wall um, over your stud. Make sure you use a stud finder as well. Uh, find that stud, get to the center of it, drill your pilot hole then through this, and then you'll be able to get all four of them in. So when you go to anchor your bike rack or bike holder against the wall, you'll, you'll pretty much have it all ready set to go. So let's get these attached to the wall, see what we think about them. Now, one thing I didn't mention while I was over at the toolbox is they do give you the mounting hardware. Um, they give you the four screws you're gonna need and then also has the little drywall anchors, which I'm not gonna use since we did find studs in there. Uh, and the sc screws that they give you are pretty coarse, so they should go into the wood and hold really well. I just don't think since I hit studs that I'll need um, the, the drywall anchors. So let's get this first one up and kind of show you the process I went through to make sure that everything stays where it's supposed to and gets me the most, I guess, amount of space um, using uh, my level. All right, well, I've, I've already got my uh, four holes drilled here using the sticker. Now, if you're using multiple ones, um, here in our area, and I'm, I'm sure most in the United States, uh, 16 inch centers are what your stud should be at. Um, but again, use a stud finder just to be sure you know where your studs are at. 
Um, but 16 inch shinners should give us enough room. I did find um, after my last set of these kind of bike racks, but from um, Menards, um, that you might want to stagger them up and down position because handlebars, if you put them all in the same spot, you may end up having some trouble getting them up there uh, and then getting them down, especially if you have kids and they get them down themselves, it may get caught and just might make, might make it difficult for them. So I'll show you where we, where we kind of staggered some and uh, let's get this one installed. I do like to use my level about this point, get the first one kind of started. Um, I am finding that uh, getting my drill in there is a little bit difficult. Um, hopefully it'll be a little bit easier once we get them a little bit further down, but wanted to at least make sure it was level. We can definitely use the top here to make sure. We are a little bit off of being super level. We're right on the edge here. But I think it'll be okay. Um, again, always make sure that you stay as level as you can because that will definitely help keep the bicycles all in a good position and, and give you the most room you can too so you're not, uh, not fighting for space. So we'll get this one attached and uh, show you the stagger that we did next. And when you're putting these things in here, Make sure you keep weight against them. I know they're gonna be up high, so I'm on a step stool, but you wanna make sure you keep pressure on these screws as they're going in um, so you don't round them out. They're not, I wouldn't say the, the screws are that great quality, not super deep as far as the Phillips head goes. Um, so yeah, we definitely don't wanna strip these out. So on that last screw, um, I actually went back to the Menards ones because the, the heads of these from Durza are, are pretty easy to strip. Um, even though I don't have my screw gun set to that high a torque on it, um, I wanted to make sure that they wouldn't strip. They are nice and tight. You don't have to worry about this thing coming out, doesn't feel like. So, no, I would, <laughs> I would say the screws uh, that come with the kit aren't great quality. I mean, they didn't round out, um, but there's definitely on my magnetic tip here for the uh, Phillips bit has some extra material on it. Um, so I would say, yeah, the, not the best quality headed screws, but they did their job. Just make sure you don't round them out because if you ever want to take this off, that'll make it really difficult. Let's get on to the next one. Well, for our next one here, like I was talking about, you might want to stagger them just so the handlebars aren't in the same spot. So I did drop this one down a little bit uh, to give us some extra room. Now, one way to make sure these are level, as you're kind of watching me here, you might not be able to see up as high as I am here, um, is to just put the bike mount up here um, and that top piece will give you a little bit of a shelf to put a level on just to be sure that you got it as level as possible. We're a little off there. Move it up just a hair and move the bottom to my left. And we're about perfect there. So we'll get this one mounted and show you how this looks. And there you go. We've got them all mounted up here. They do give you the opportunity to angle them a little bit, as you can see, because of that kind of skid plate they have um, that kind of bumps up a little bit more on the one side so you can angle them, but still the tire is secure in the kind of the cradle. I also really do like this that like on my bike with the widest tires, that hook definitely wraps around. Is a little bit more of a challenge to get up in there because you have to kind of get the tire in through the side there. Um, and since it does wrap around so much, you know, you really got to get it in there pretty, pretty easily still, but just got to kind of angle it in to get it in there. But we're using space that normally really wouldn't be used besides maybe some garbage cans, things like that. Gets the bikes up off the floor and gives us more space in our garage. Well, final thoughts on this Durza system. Um, I do like the little kick panel they have off to the side here. It's a little bit 
taller than this one, um, just so you can angle your bike a little bit more and, and give you a little bit more space uh, in between them, um, especially with the handlebars. Uh, you get them right across from one another and it makes it difficult. I did go back through, as you saw uh, in that last section there, um, I put Addy's bike next to my road bike and then my wife's bike and then mine. Um, their handlebars, even though I lowered Addy's, um, just still was hitting pretty close. So decided to swap them up. Uh, this, these stickers too for that system, a lot easier. Um, I did find they were a little bit off of being um, level. So I had to go back and redo a couple of the holes. But other than that, the other thing I would say was kind of a falter of this was the screws. Not real quality heads on those screws. They're pretty easy to round out. I ended up actually using uh, a couple of the screws from the old racks from um, Menards. Um, they held up a lot easier or a lot better. But all in all, this is gonna be a lot stronger. I like, again, how this wraps around the rim a little bit better. And then uh, should give us a lot easier space and don't have to worry about the bikes falling off the wall. But I'll put a link down below, um, get you to those bike, this bike system from Durza a lot quicker. And I think they had uh, you know some different options as far as just buying one, buying two, or buying four maybe. I ended up buying just four of them. Not sure if I'll use the last one anytime soon. Maybe wait for Riley to get old enough and I'll have an extra one for her. But no, nice system besides the screws. Uh, think it'll work out well and hopefully it'll work out for you and your family. But as always, we appreciate you watching. Don't forget, I am going to SEMA um, here this coming month, end of October. Would love to know what you'd like to see at SEMA. And Addie and I, like we talked about uh, previous videos, we do have a website now www.monkeybusinessoffroad.com. Um, you can find our videos there. You can find some merchandise that she's helped design and would love you to support the channel by uh, buying something, whether it's a hat, t-shirt, uh, one of our Velcro patches, or we have new stuff coming. Uh, keep an eye on that website and we'll get it shipped out to you as soon as possible. But as always, we appreciate you watching. Have a blessed day. Bye.